I'm Omer Khalid. I'm one of the social media editors at JAX Cardiovascular Interventions, and it is my great pleasure to welcome Dr. Abdul Wahab. Thank you for joining us today for this interview. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Acute coronary obstruction after valve deployment is, a, is one of the most dreaded complications after TAVR. Uh, fortunately, it's not very common. Two techniques, chimney stenting and basilica, are often used in high-risk patients. Dr. Abdul Wahab studied uh, these two techniques and compared them uh, in a registry-based study, which is just published in Jack Cardiovascular Interventions. So, Dr. Abdul Wahab, do you mind starting uh, with uh, uh, briefly describing the demographics of the registry in which you studied your clinical questions? Yes. So, um, uh, this was a multi-center retrospective registry, which was performed in several, uh, among several, mainly European countries. So um, many study sites in Germany, but also many study sites in Italy and, and some other European countries, and very few North American countries. Um, so uh, what we actually did is that we retrospectively had a look um, at uh, the two techniques you mentioned, so uh, chimney stenting, which is a known uh, interventional preventive technique utilizing coronary stents to prevent tower induced acute coronary obstruction with the um, um, leaflet laceration technique using basilica um, in comparison. Um, and to do this, uh, it's quite tricky, of course, to do this in a retrospective setting. So we, we decided um, to um, include, uh, for example, uh, the uh, um, chimney centers that uh, participated in this registry, they had no experience with Basilica, which was not the case for the Basilica centers. So Basilica centers already had experience with chimney and had some cases done with chimney. We did not include these. So we included um, um, only chimney cases from centers that are purely doing chimney, and we are we did um, include um, or we did not include the chimney cases that have been done at the basilica centers because we thought this would be a, a big selection bias. So this is one important thing. The second important thing, where when it comes to the design of the registry, which is also important, that you know that with the chimney technique. There is the possibility that you put a stent and at the end of the day, you decide that probably you were a bit more um, um, like um, cautious and at the end of the day, you didn't need the stent, so you, you don't implant it. We did not include these cases as well. Um, so we only included cases where at the end of the day, the operator decided that the stent was needed for some reason or the other. Um, so this is basically uh, how how we did this uh, retrospective analysis. Thank you, Dr. Abdul Hab, and uh, those are very important uh, points that you mentioned, which uh, you know avoid the possibility of selection bias in this in this analysis. Uh, I was curious about another thing, uh, like conceptually, if you look at uh, Basilica, it's it's a direct preventive strategy because of the leaflet uh, uh, laceration. Uh, whereas chimney uh, stenting is directly doesn't prevent obstruction, but you have the option immediately uh, uh, to secure the coronary if we lose flow. So with that information, uh, I'm curious how you selected the uh, endpoints in your study, especially the primary endpoints, if you could define for the audience. Yes. Yeah. So so going back to, to the first part of your question, because... Um, uh, just want to emphasize this because this is important. Uh, you are totally right. So if you, you you have, for example, if you if you are not planning to do basilica, um, basilica by itself is an active way of preventing coronary obstruction. Correct. So because you you do something before you even implant the tower device. So you lacerate the leaflet before even implanting the tower device. For chimney, uh, it could be either, correct? So you could you could you could put the stent and then you decide to withdraw it and then you could implant it. So just to make the comparison a bit fair, we did not include cases where the stent was not implanted because we think this is probably first of all there would be a reason why you didn't implant the stent. So probably these patients were not high risk at the end of the day. And at the uh, and the most important part is that. 
why we are doing, why, why did the concept of the Vedika develop? It developed to avoid stenting. Because the theory was that if you put a stent in a chimney-like manner, it could be acutely successful, and we know it's acutely successful, but it could have pr problems in the future. Because of the stent can be deformed, it can re it can thrombose, it can prevent coronary access, and all these issues actually um, could potentially be avoided by the silica. Um, this is why when we have chosen the endpoint, of course, uh, we looked at an endpoint at one year, which is a MACE endpoint. So we looked at the composite of death, myocardial infarction, stroke, and repeat revascularization, trying to capture through this clinical endpoint these concerns that, uh, that one may have uh, when it comes to implanting a stent as a chimney. Perfect. Uh, thank you for your detailed answer again, Dr. Abdul Wahab. Uh, lastly, uh, for the audience, could you briefly discuss the results to, uh, comparing the two techniques? Yes. So first of all, we looked, of course, at the uh, uh, periprocedure results. Um, well, even before diving into the periprocedure results, because of this is a retrospective registry, there were some diff important differences between the two groups that, that need to be emphasized. So there were differences in the geographic location of centers. The majority of chimney centers were in Italy, whereas the majority of basilica centers were in Germany, for example. And th this can be discussed, and, and, and I think it's highlighted in the editorial very nicely as well. Um, so there are, were also some differences in the patient characteristics. So, uh, for example, when you look at the CT characteristics, it seems that patients that uh, underwent basilica in this registry had overall a higher risk of coronary obstruction uh, as uh, estimated by several CT-based measurements uh, as well. Um, so this is important. Um, it's also important to mention that all, more than 90% of these cases were valve and valve cases, which is actually where we usually require these preventive measures. Uh, and this was uh, comparable in both groups. Uh, procedural um, um, outcomes, um, there were quite some quite interesting differences. So you may expect that chimney, for example, is a faster procedure. So that procedure time would be shorter with chimney stenting because this is a procedure that we are used to do as interventionalists where basilica requires some wires and snares and so on. It was not the case. So procedural time, skin to skin time was co very comparable. The only exception was when you do dual leaflet basilica, which was longer compared to dual chimney. Um, but if you do it like for a single leaflet compared to a single uh, a chimney, it was comparable. And then the overall population was comparable as well, which is important. The need for contrast was significantly higher in the chimney group, which is also very interesting. And it's probably related to the fact that operators try to look uh, before they implant the stent and make sure that they uh, need to implant it. It could be an explanation. Uh, um, of course, this is hypothetical. Um, other procedural, other important procedure uh, um, outcome measures, uh, and importantly, the clinical success of the procedure were compatible. Um, and periprocedure mortality and infarction rates were very low, which shows us that both procedures work. They do function as a preventive measure for prevention of such a catastrophic complication. When it comes to the primary outcome at one year, this, uh, this, uh, this combined endpoint we mentioned, it was not significantly different between both techniques, around 19% in, in, in both with both techniques. Uh, overall, very encouraging outcome in this very high-risk population. Uh, so definitely, um, it's using a preventive measure, whether chimney or basilica, is much, much way better than doing nothing. <laughs> um, What's interesting that we see some signals of the things we expected that could happen. The one year follow up is very short. So the cardiac death, for example, um, without being able to detect the exact causes of cardiac death was five times higher in the chimney group.
Perfect. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Dr. Abdul Hab, for uh, describing the results in detail. Uh, this is actually uh, uh, great data for all the structural interventionists all over the world who are using these techniques. And uh, th thank you again for your time and congratulations on your work. Thank you very much. My pleasure.